it's time to dish with D. That's me. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm making yourself a priority. I am Denise. It is usually Sunday, but we're uploading this on Monday because Sunday was Easter. So happy belated Easter to those of you that celebrate. And today we are doing our little mini meal prep. Food idea. What's D cooking? This week she made Easter bread. It is my mother's recipe. The only thing I really changed was the sugar. So I'm using sugar. I use monk fruit. Now, if you want to use regular sugar in this, by all means, go ahead. Um, I will have it linked below. I've made this a few years back, so it's on my old recipe. So I'll have the direct link to it down below. It's on dishwithd.org. And we did some on the fly Asian chicken meatballs. I had some ground chicken left over, so I just came up with a little quick, I just was jonesing for Asian meatballs. I wish I'd had some green onion though. That would have been really good. That's what I was missing. So they were really, really yummy and we ate them for lunch during the week. So that's a quick little recipe for that. And I make some Bursher muesli that I had on the cruise. Oh my God, I loved it. I didn't realize what it was when I ordered it. I thought, oh, I always want to try muesli. Let's try it. And it came out with like overnight oats. I'm like, I, thank God it was Monday because I think I have it every day after that. It was phenomenal. You can change up the fruits in there. Like I said, absolutely can have at it. Muesli is nothing more than oats, dried fruit, and nuts. That's the mix. You could actually mix it like that and have it ready to go and just use it like that. But I opted for fresh fruit in mine. But And you choose your nuts. You know, you want almonds, you want walnuts, you want pecans, you want hazelnuts. You pick your nuts and you add them. I like adding mine in the morning just because I really want them super crunchy. That's my textural. But you could absolutely put them in the night before. It's totally up to you how do you put yours together. So without further ado, oh, there's also going to be a Thrive Market. Um, my monthly Thrive Market came in, so I wanted to share that as well. They are not sponsoring this video. I buy my own Thrive Market. So let's have at these recipes. Let's make some Easter bread. Buckle up. We need a half a cup of 1% milk, and it says to scald. I know, I had to Google that. You have to bring it to 165 degrees. It kills some kind of bacteria. Don't need, don't know why that has to be done, but it does. Just follow the directions. And I have my thermometer, so I'll take the temp, and then we have to add our sugar to that. So let that come to a 165 degree temperature. All right, came to temperature, it says to add shortening and sugar and we will combine well and i'm sure the shortening will melt right into that i did use a handy dandy thermometer all right once that it's all nice and combined i'm going to add the peel of my lemon my orange and my salt but i'm using the dehydrated kind right now and let it let this mixture cool completely. That's right. In my bowl, I have yeast and some sugar, and I'm gonna add my hot water and combine. Dissolve my yeast. And the sugar will feed the yeast because yeast needs food. So hopefully this will bloom. We'll be on our way. All right, as you see, our yeast has bloomed. So I know it's a mess. Oh, it's a mess. I'm a messy cook. I know. All right. In my bowl, I have my first amount of flour. Everything is on dishwithd.org. It's it's on the old website because I made this a few years ago. It tells you how to do half and half. So you put half of the flour that you need in the bowl. To that, I'm going to add the yeasted mixture, all foamy and delicious. If your yeast doesn't foam, don't bother even going any further because you're not activated. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to add our two. Sorry about my reach. Oops, sorry about knocking into my camera. I can see this video is not going to be any better than the last one I did. And your two, you can't even see, two eggs. Well, we'll do this. There, that's better. All right. So we got our yeast, we got our eggs, and now we have our shortening milk and our... Um, lemon and orange rind i put it in my mug so it will cool all 
And I subbed out the sugar in this recipe to lower the points. So again, you don't want to use it. You could use regular sugar, absolutely. Okay. So we're gonna put it in our mixer affixed with our dough hook. And we're gonna start kneading away. This way you don't have to knead it. Let the mixer do all the work. There we go, let it combine, and we get the rest of our flour ready to be added to it. And you just keep adding your flour a little bit at a time. And you'll start seeing a dough form. Add flour, mix, add flour, mix, or knead. All right, you mix all the flour until the dough is combined. See, it's all straight from the sides. And I'm gonna keep this on knead for about four to five minutes on a medium knead. That takes care of you needing it. So who knew that, that you could just do this? Look at all that elbow grease. All right, our dough has been kneading for about five minutes. Look at that, the bowl is absolutely clean. It's kneaded perfectly. It absorbed all that flour. Now just pull off the remaining dough off your dough hook. There we go. And this is a little bit dark because I think it's because I use the dried um, orange and lemon peel. I think if you use fresh, it wouldn't get this like interesting color, which is, I'm not, look at that. Look at that. Like I said, I never knew that the dough hook did all that. So we're just gonna form it into a nice ball. Let's get it all together. Nice and smooth. And I oiled my bowl with a little avocado oil. You don't wanna use any flavored oil because of course avocado is probably flavored, but it's fine. So look at that. You can see all the little flecks Things so we're going to put this. I'm going to cover it with a piece of saran, and we're going to put, I'm going to leave it right out on my counter because my oven is on, so it's going to make it nice and warm. So it's supposed to grow. I think I'd leave it for an hour, and then we punch it down, and I'm going to divide it into two loaf pans. Let that sit for like half an hour, and then we'll bake it. Like I said, this is a very easy recipe, very simple. I, I you know, here's my Pepsi. Keep it simple because this is something you can make. And if I'm doing this on the fly here on Thursday night, I think anybody can do it. So we're going to, I'm going to oil the top of this as well. Just a little bit, a little bit of oil, that's all. All right, I'll be back for the show you the first rise. You're going to see where it's going to come. It's going to be much higher. But if the yeast does its thing, all right, it's been an hour. It has grown, not as big as I think I would have liked, but it has, definitely has grown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to punch the air out and I could leave it and let it grow again, but what we're going to do is we're going to put it in our loaf pans right to the side right here. I'm gonna separate this into two loaves and let me grab my knife. Okay, I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle. You know, you could, like I said, this would make one of those, you know, when you braid it, you put the eggs in it, that you would definitely be able to do it with this. So I'm gonna move this here. Now, uh, that one, I did spray it with nonstick spray. So I'm just going to kind of make it into a little loaf shape like this. I'm going to put it in the warm place again, covered, and let it do a second rise. And then we will just do some egg wash. If you want to put some like Easter sprinkles, nonpareils. My mother was famous for nonpareils, but you can do whatever Easter sprinkles you want. You don't have to do any Easter sprinkles. We're also going to, after it's baked, we're going to um, put a little powdered sugar glaze on it. Again, that's optional, you don't have to. Let's press this down nice and evenly. Okay. Going for it. This second rise is a half an hour. So we'll be back. All right, a half hour has gone by. We'll pull them out. And they have risen a little bit more. This pan might be actually too big, but honestly, I. Where's my little brush? All right. And then we get our little egg wash, which is just a whisked egg. 
And our oven is preheating 375 and we're just going to brush it. And I did check, I do not have any Easterish sprinkles. I didn't want to put Christmas on that, it might be a bit weird. <laughs> now this may fill the pan up, I don't know. We'll see. You know, again, does everything have to be perfect? It doesn't. You know, I like to just to show you the method. Sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. All right, just brush. I think it bakes for about 20 minutes or so. Everything I said is on the recipe that I will have linked in the description box to the right site. This one's an old recipe. My mother made it since we were little kids. And she would even make individual ones. You could make like little part, we should get 12 out of a batch. You can make like 12 little sweet rolls. She used to do that a lot. Okay. I'm using up the egg wash. What the heck, you know? I'm gonna throw it out anyway. So be very liberal. All right, in the oven they go. Twenty-five minutes in the oven. The other one I'll be popping right out in a minute. It rose beautifully. I was a little bit worried, but it came through. It was looks so much pretty with the Easter um, sprinkles. But I'm gonna let this cool completely, and tomorrow we're going to glaze it with just powdered sugar and you know, and water or milk, and then just glaze the top. But it's not gonna add anything because seriously, how much are you gonna get in one slice, right? And here is the second one out of the oven. I throw it right on a cooling rack. Again, they're nice size loaves. Let's make some chicken meatballs. I have my chicken, ground chicken, about a pound. I have some soy sauce, and I also have a splash of rice wine vinegar. I have my seasonings, which are my seasonings, ground ginger, garlic, and whatever I have left of the sesame seeds is to use them up. I'm gonna put a squirt of Dijon mustard. I'm not measuring, because it's just what I have around give you an idea and some peach hot sauce just a little glug mix combine well tablespoon of chopped garlic forgot that <laughs> and a little bit of toasted sesame oil just about a half a teaspoon And now combine well. Third cup of whole wheat panko. You can use any breadcrumbs you choose. I happen to have whole wheat panko. And then combine well. I wanted some greens, so I did two teaspoons of dried chives and a teaspoon of dried parsley. And then we're gonna roll them into meatballs after we combine. And just scoop your meatballs. Much easier to do it this way. Makes quick and easy work of ground meat. You don't have to touch it. These meatballs cooked 400 degrees for 15 minutes. They are one point for two meatballs on the Better Balance Healthy and the WW app because of the um, extra ingredients I added. Totally worth it, totally yummy and quite delicious. Hey, I'm gonna replicate one of the things I had on my cruise. It was Bercher Muesli. So it's kind of like overnight oats, but just a little bit fancier. And Muesli just means oats, fruits, and nuts. That's what I've read anyway, so. We're going to do it a little bit different. We're going to lighten it up a little bit, but still make it fantastic and tasty. So let's go. Out of the way, Slim. In my, I'm using a container, not my usual um, jar, because it's a just, this is how they always do it on the other videos. So I'm going to be a little bit fancy. So I have one of my little um, lock and locks. Fancy lock and lock. So I'm using rolled old-fashioned oats. Half a cup. And, you know, everybody has their version of muesli. It's all different. It all depends on what you want to do. So we're going to put a little bit of apple sauce. Now, you could put apple juice. Some of them had apple juice, which is interesting. But since I don't have any apple juice, I'm just going to put a nice little glug of apple sauce. And, of course, I'm going to throw a little bit of salt in there because I don't always want to forget my salt because it's a little bit of flavor. 
um, grab some cinnamon because yeah, a bit of cinnamon, you know, as much or little as you like. And I'm going to use some unsweetened almond braise. This is the coconut version. Now, they say to dredge your oats with the milk. Like, make sure it's covered in them. So let's see. That's half a cup. Do maybe a little bit more, like three quarters of a cup. Because actually, the muesli is more liquidy than my overnight oats. It was a little bit more looser. So we're going to do it that way. You want to put some extracts in here, flavorings of your choice. You absolutely can. That's that. We get this out of the way. I'm going to go grab my secret ingredient. Okay, you get your grater, a box grater. On this is the most coarsest one. You grab an apple. Skin on and everything, make sure it's clean. And you just grate it. And you turn it when you're getting towards the core. I will tell you, some people actually grate the core. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> not doing that. And it's one piece of apple per serving on muesli. According to, you know, depending on who you, who you watch. And of course, Bailey is right here. If you can see him, <laughs> you see him? Uh, no, I think my camera's not low enough. Waiting for mommy to give him a piece of apple. Get all your apple off of there. I'm just going to dump it all in. It's already starting to thicken. You could put nuts in here, almonds, hazelnuts, whatever you want. Dried fruit, if you wanna add some dried fruit, you can. I'm choosing not to right now, but, but, but muesli, as you see, is basically over my notes. We're gonna throw a little bit of yogurt in there. Now, not as much as I usually put in my oatmeal, which is interesting, it's a little less. Again, yeah, you can put as much as you want, who am I kidding, right? But every recipe I saw, they only put like a couple of tablespoons in there. Let's see if I can grab this is hard to open today. There we go. Brand new yogurt, fresh from the store. Fresh in the fresh spoon too. Just gonna put couple of glugs. It's probably a quarter cup, which is pretty much what I put anyway. And we'll mix that all together. Now, according to them, you get the sweetness from the fruit. I guess. I don't know. Let me not put anything in there. This has to sit overnight. It smells really good, I'll tell you that. It smells really nice. So we will revisit this tomorrow when we go to have our breakfast. And I'm probably going to top it with some nuts as opposed to having it inside. I'd rather have them a little bit more crunchier. I mean, I don't know how nuts will soften, but I'm preferring mine to be on top. And we're going to have it for breakfast tomorrow. So we will revisit this video tomorrow when I see it. It'll be the next morning after my WW meeting. All right, it's the next morning. I just took our muesli out of the fridge. Look how creamy and all those delicious juices are all ready to go. So I'm going to 
add a little bit of chopped fresh pear. You could grate it if you wanted. I just want a different type of um, textural difference in mine. But again, you could shred it. You could even add it the night before, but I just wanted this to be more of a crunchier element to my muesli. But again, you know, your muesli, your way. Okay, we have our little bit of pear. I'm going to put some chopped walnuts. I, have some. I keep mine in the freezer because I don't you go through a lot of nuts. I'm a rough chop. And again, remember nuts are pointed, so you have to decide how many points you want to spend on nuts. Hi. Let me grab my tablespoon. You could weigh them in grams if you wanted. I'm just going to do one, two tablespoons of chopped walnuts. That's pretty good measuring. We're eyeballing it. Okay, and I want to also put some pepitas. Pepitas are pumpkin seeds, but I call them pepitas. Okay, measure out a tablespoon. And just dust the top. Now you could put berries on here, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, whatever berries you want. You could put some dried fruit in here. Again, remember dried fruit is pointed. It's all how you want to point your muesli. I'm going to finish mine with, just because I feel like it. I think I have it in here. Yeah, I do. I have this caramel, pure caramel flavored syrup. I'm just going to dust the top. Again, totally unnecessary. You don't really need to do this. You can use maple syrup. You can use honey. Honey would be really good. And this one won't cost me a point, so I'm just going to that. There we go. And there you have Dish with D's version of Bursar Muesli. Let's talk. Let me eat this, and then we'll come back and talk about points and calories. Let's go over the macros on the Bursar Muesli. It is 458 calories. Now, you might think that that's a lot, but it's, it tells you it takes you through breakfast and lunch. I mean, breakfast and snacks. So, to me, that's so worth 458 calories. 15 grams of fat, 73 grams of carbs. You could say that's very carb-heavy. I would agree with you there. 13 grams of protein. It's 9 better balance points on healthy and 7 WW points. Because the oats had gone down on this plan and the also the pepitas are now zero for that amount. So that's why the difference in points. I think it's absolutely yummy and I think it's totally worth it. Now you could up the protein by adding more yogurt if you wish. It's again, it's, it's just a base. You can definitely build on it. So definitely it's something, a muesli is nothing more than oats, fruits, and nuts. That's, you know, usually dried fruits, but I figure using fresh saves me points. And honestly, I do like dried bread. But again, you could put craisins, raisins in there. Dates would be really good. You could change up the fruit. Berries would be great. I didn't happen to have any, so I just stuck with what I stuck with. But I will say, the difference with the apple and the pear was really a nice little combo. So definitely check that out. Alrighty, I got my monthly Thrive Market order in. And I thought I'd like to share it. Remember, they're not sponsoring this video. I pay for my own. I bought it my yearly membership. They are membership based. And I think that's how they keep the prices down. They're very competitive and they will match, price match. If you see it like, they kind of remind you of a Whole Foods, Sprouts kind of store. So if you see any of your products that you're looking for there, they will, I've heard, I've not had to do it yet. They will price match that for you. But that is how they keep the prices low by membership based. And they claim that if you don't make up your membership, they will refund it to you in savings. So that's good to know. And I enjoy the things I've gotten so far from Thrive. It's things I would get at um, Whole Foods or Sprouts that I can't get to because they're not around my area. So I like having this um, option to shop and 
if you spend forty dollars, your shipping is free. So for me, it's not hard to hit forty dollar threshold. Just saying. And I could also give you a refer a friend that gives you forty dollars off your first box. So without further, let's see what I got this month. I don't even remember. I think I ordered this right before I left for the cruise. I did do a, a reorder of one thing because I really liked it. And they also have Thrive Fresh now. You can order fresh stuff. And it comes super quick, which I was really impressed with. And they wrap things like things that are in glass. They get wrapped. So how fun. I don't remember what I ordered. Oh, that's right. I got to, I to try these, these cool drinks. Put my glasses on so I could see it. I'm into finding new, healthier options in the beverage department. I don't know. I'm just fun exploring options. This is called Sound Sparkling Water, Tangerine and Lemongrass with tea and botanicals. So I thought that would be fun to try. It is zero calories. But I thought, you know, what a way to fun way to try a can of soda. You don't have to buy a whole pack. I got two of them. Well, one for me, one for Peter. But I thought they were just so cute. Very funky looking. I don't know. I should try it. But again, sometimes you have to buy like cases and you just, and then you don't wind up not liking it. So. Primal Kitchen, which is a really good brand. If you're into like cleaner ingredients or just better made um, foods that are canned and bottled, Thrive Market is for you. Mango Jalapeno Barbecue Sauce Organic. How fun is that? It is 30 calories for two tablespoons, which I don't think is terrible. No added sugar, so I like, I like barbecue. I like finding fun new barbecue sauces. And this I thought was interesting, so I got... Sometimes they just stuff for me and stuff for Peter because he likes to eat well. Scout seafood snacks, wild yellowfin tuna and olive oil, chili jalapeno. Can we see what it looks like or is it foiled? <gasps> Look, it comes with, oh my God, how cute would this be for lunch? You get a little spoon and you get your can and your little jalapeno crunch topping. I don't know. I just want to try I thought it sounded really, really interesting. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. And I also got crispy chili. These have 30 grams of protein. Honestly, I can't even begin to tell you how good the tuna is. But yeah, I want to try this brand, so I got those. Oh, I've never had these. I always wanted to try cacao nibs. I've never had them. If you've had them, let me know. I've never tried them. I thought one teaspoon is 20 calories. I thought it'd be interesting to try. I don't know how many. I didn't scan these for points because, honestly, I'm going to tell you. It doesn't matter what the points are because I want to try them. So that's... In a nutshell, I'm going to be a little bit blunt with you, yes. And these I got in my last box, and we love them. These turkey jalapeno meat sticks, they were good. I believe they were two points a stick. They were 70 calories. Either one or two points. They were really good, though. A little bit of spice. Who doesn't love a spicy meat stick? I've never seen them anywhere. All right, I saw this. Wanted to try it. Rice broccoli. It's in one of those, like, vacuum pouches that you just have to heat it up. I thought that sounded interesting. I like broccoli. I do. And I wouldn't ever cook this either. And these, oh yes. I wanted to try the skinny dip dark and sea salt almonds. Again, really good on points and bites are these skinny dip brand because they're not coated really heavily. A lot of people recommended them, so I definitely wanted to try it. And I got the Dynamic Duo Snack Pack. Lesser Evil Popcorn. They're in individual bags. I love less of popcorn and I love individual bags. So I thought it is a sweet and salty. Also, it is the best of both worlds. So I thought that would be fun to try to get two of those. I think it was a deal. They have run a lot of specials. And once you sign up, you will see that all the specials that they have. You'll get email saying, hey, we saw that you looked at this. It's on special, which is kind of fun. And I also got these which were all about the elote. I thought that sounded fantastic. And I thought to myself, you know what? Lesser Evil is a really nice brand, a really good popcorn brand. So the elote really intrigued me. So I wanted to try that. Actually, I think a few of the popcorns were a freebie because I got, um, they get run deals. And I think the, you know, I think about the popcorn was a snack pack. You'll get coupons and they'll say, hey, if you shop today, you get a free snack pack or you'll get this free. So they also run a lot of those. And I think that 
Lust Reaper was part of that. The other one. Not the one. I think I ordered the Elote one. I hear a lot about these Blakes. These are little um, rice cakes. I hear they're really good. I've never had them. I wanted to try them. They're 90 calories each. But I hear a lot of people rave about these. So I wanted to try those as well. You'll see. There's a lot of giveaways that you get. Oh, I wanted to try this. This one was interesting. The Yuzu Sparkling Water, made with real fruit and no added sugar. So I've never had Yuzu, and I wanted to try it. So I got a couple of cans. I always get ones for Peter because he's kind of like me. He likes to try different citrus sodas and, and the sparkling water. So we're into this right now. I did tell you that I did try the new um, by Don't Sip of My Tongue. Um, oh, I my spoon away. Um, what's it called? The Spindrift No Hito. So it's kind of the version of a mojito with no alcohol. It's absolutely fantastic. I need to run back to Target and get me another case or two. I also want to try these. Peter loves these shirataki noodles. And this is the Thrive Market brand. So I did get two of those. This is a tofu noodle. So I thought we would enjoy trying that. I got two of those. This was on special, the Thrive or Chicken Bone Broth. I guess it's organic. Apparently, bone broth has a lot of protein in it, which I did not realize. So, 11 grams of protein in this whole thing. This is also part of my snack package that I didn't have to pay for, which is Aloha Trial Pack. So, I thought that'd be fun. I've, I'm, yeah, let's pay for it. So, plant based protein. I've never, I hear some people talk about these Aloha bars. I've never had them. They have chocolate chip cookie dough. We have chocolate chip cookie dough, size bar, 230 calories. We have chocolate mint. I know somebody is going to like that. We have peanut butter cup, and we have coconut chocolate almond. Now, yeah, all around the same calories. Plant-based protein. Protein's around 14, 18. I can only see. We'd be dangerous, wouldn't we? That's. 16. So I'm doing 16 and 18 grams of protein. A fun way to try it. Would I have bought these? Probably not. But hey, they were thrown in my box. So again, always check out your, your, your email. And I always, sign, I always sign up for the um, email alerts as well. Flackers. I've had these before. I really like them. These are flax seed crackers. I've learned I love seed crackers. I do. And these are really good brands. So I thought, oh, they have flackers. All right, more more beverages. Yeah, they were, you know, they were, I think, one of it being a dollar something a can, so I didn't think that was too terrible. What we got here? We got Classic Cola in Poppy. I've heard a lot of people try this Poppy brand, so instead of buying a whole case of it, I got a can for Peter and I. It's a prebiotic soda in cola. So what a fun way to try something interesting. Again, this also this has 25 calories a can, so I thought it'd be fun to try it. Again, will I like it? I don't know, but I'm not wasting money on a whole case. And this I saw somebody else haul, and I thought it was a really interesting, and I wanted to get it. It was the Rosie Assorted Recycled Microfiber Cloths. This one is for grease. This one's for tub and tile. This one's for stainless steel. This one's for glass, and this one is for dust. They're all different. I thought that was a really good deal because I have a stainless steel refrigerator, and I thought that would be really great to keep next to that, and, you know, one for the bath. So I thought it was, was a nice deal, and I thought she really liked it, and I thought to myself, I could use these. Instead of five cloths, I think it was like $7, so I didn't think that was terrible. So I think that is it in my Thrive Fall. Like I said, I got a lot of freebies in this one. The popcorn and these bars, the two, the two of the plain ones were thrown in. Me. So they will definitely um, have specials like that. If, you, if they see you're looking at a certain brand, they'll say, hey, this brand you like is on 25% off if you're in interested. So it's, it's, it's just really for people that really kind of enjoy these type of products. If these aren't for you, then I get it. But these are something, like I said, you know, I go to tra tra Trader Joe's, I go to Whole Foods and I go to Mom's Organic Market for certain items, you know, like especially something like this. I'm into these prebiotic sodas and fun seltzers. So if you're going to have something sparkly, might as well make it good for you. So that's it. I will let you know if you ever, I do tastings on certain things if I remember to, um, and I shoot them up in my What I Eat in the Days. 
I say, hey, T here for tasting. Let's try this scout tuna that I got on Thrive Market. So you definitely look forward to seeing. I probably will taste these sodas on camera as well. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Join us here at Dish with D. We upload five to six days a week. We do all kinds of healthy lifestyle, better for you videos, um, weight loss. You know, we do support. We do fun food hauls. We do hanging out. We do lots of fun stuff. So we do lives as well. So if you're part of the community, please hit that subscribe button. Join us here. And again, if you're interested, again, never hard to sell on this channel. Always realize that when I bring you stuff, I'm not expecting you to go, oh my gosh, you need to run out and get it. No. But if you're on the fence and thinking about it, like maybe this will send you over to Thrive Market. I will have a link down below. You can get $40 off your first box. And you could sign up on his membership basis, $5 a month to be a member. You could pay that monthly or you could pay it up ahead of time. I think if you pay it in a year in advance, which is what I did, I think you get a slight discount. So I know I was going to, I've been on the fence about wanting to join. And I thought, you know what? Let's just take the plunge. So like I said, that's it. Have a great rest of your Monday. We will dish tomorrow for what I eat in a day. Bye-bye, my lovelies.